Today, we're setting sail to one of the most breathtaking destinations on the planet, the Komodo Islands. Famous for their incredible biodiversity and of course, the legendary Komodo dragons, this Indonesian paradise is an absolute dream. Come along as we navigate the open waters on a quest to find beautiful manta rays, dangerous Komodo dragons, and create unforgettable memories. <laughs> wow. But remember, nothing is guaranteed on this trip. So beautiful. Best day ever. I think I've just had the most amazing snorkel of my life. This is crazy beautiful. Okay, so we have arrived to Labano Bajo. Um, yesterday we got off the flight and we're here to do the three day, two night Komodo dragon tour. So excited about that, but we did come two days early so that we could explore the island a little bit before we hop on the boat. Um, we just headed to a beach, which was pretty decent, and now we're at this beautiful lookout. Get ready for our boat tour tomorrow. Now we're going to go head back to our accommodation, and I'll show you our place. It's very, very nice. It's called Siesta Hostels, something like that. Um, so cute. It has a nice little like Greek theme with the white and the blue and I'll show you. It's very cute. They have reggae, a live reggae band coming tonight. So let's go back and go listen to some reggae. Do a little sunset watch on the motorbike. So down there I think is where one of our boats Our three day, two night Komodo boat tour starts now. We jumped on the boat, met our fabulous crew and our boat mates for the next few days, and we set sail for the most beautiful three days of my life. Okay, we have just sailed for about 45 minutes ish, and our first stop is to do a 10 minute hike, so let's go check it out. The water's so clear. Shells that they collect are insane. They're like massive. Okay, we had just finished up our snorkeling. Oh, you're good at it. It's too hot. How was our snorkel? It was good. Like, how good? Really good. Really good. The colors and all the freaking fish down there is really 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 cool we didn't see any turtles but that's okay i have a feeling later on in the trip we'll see them but let's check out how good our snorkel just was ready go <laughs> 
We finished off the most incredible day in the most beautiful way possible. As the sun was setting, we watched flying foxes fly overhead in search of food, and it was so amazing.
bed. It's actually a very big bed. And then a pretty decent size room. And then we actually have AC. Okay, so that is a wrap on day one. It was fantastic. Um, some really good snorkeling, and a good hike to some views, and the sunset was beautiful. Oh, and the fox, what are they called? The fox? Flying fox. The flying foxes at night was amazing. Like, they're so big. It was so beautiful. Like, I could, I could have cried because it was so beautiful. Um, and then I just la spent the last about 40 minutes just reading my book on the front deck and it was quite lovely. Um, so now we're gonna go to sleep. It is a bit rocky, which is a bummer, but I think we'll be okay. And we wake up at 4.30 a.m. for a sun sunrise hike on Padar, so I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night. I'm gonna try to fall asleep on this. Got this generator in my ear. How's it feel? It's cold.
sand is like pink and it feels so soft. It's so cool. I love it. I think I've just had the most amazing snorkel of my life. Actually, I know it's the most amazing snorkel. It was absolutely incredible. How's your snorkel? It was really cool. Like super duper cool? Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. So beautiful here. Nice pink sand. Better be careful. I like sneaking. I feel like I'm right in the line of like if he were to come at me, <laughs> he'd come right to me. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Three oh. years they are still in trees and sometimes they go down in the ground also just to learn how to hunt. Father or their parents they don't care about them <laughs> and never feed them, they feed by themselves. In the trees. So apparently the younger Komodos are more aggressive and they told us that after we had to run away from this little guy. It was kind of scary. Okay, the time has come where we get to swim, hopefully, oh. with manta rays, so pray for us, cross your fingers, let's go see. <laughs>
jumped in. We saw the manta rays right away. Absolutely incredible. Those things are massive. Just so beautiful to see. And then we cruised on in here to park the boat for the night and the water is unbelievably clear here. And I've just been watching turtles swim at night and it's the best way to end the night. So um, we're gonna go to sleep Good morning, it is our last and final day on the boat. Okay, this place is turtle heaven. We haven't even gotten in the water. It's just morning time and I've been seeing like 60,000 turtles. We finished off our last snorkel of the trip and then we headed to a little place that I like to call the paradise.
<laughs> I got water in my nose on that one. Okay, we set sail for the last time back to Le Mans Bajo and then we're gonna catch a flight and head home. I will give a full overview when we get back.